Hello everyone. Very good evening to all students who are showing keen interest in learning the subject mathematics. In last video, we covered the fundamentals of matrices under the heading called part one. There we covered uh, how to define a matrix. Next one, how to count number of rows and number of columns. Why we have why we have to discuss fundamentals in the beginning. Just like uh, bricks play a vital role in building up of monuments or buildings or houses, they need a strong foundation for longevity, long standing, durability, whatever you call. The same way, to get the command on subject, fundamentals are most important. Any branch of mathematics you take without fundamentals, you can't go directly to learn the subject effectively. So that's the main motto of these video lectures, what I planned for. Let us continue the second part. Here I'm going to cover types of matrices. Uh, depends, on, depends upon the time constraint. All the types cannot be covered in one video. So for your patience and for your time availability, it is divided into few parts of the videos covering all types of matrices in simple manner, how to identify, how to remember, are there any basic operations we have to implement to work out wide range problems coming across in matrices. Mainly these small, small tips are, we can say, arithmetical operations, what we are going to play or operate or going to work out on smaller level problems. It is extended to work out macro level problems, same idea, without any difficulty. Without delay of time, let's start. The second part of the fundamentals of the matrices, I wrote clearly on the board, fundamentals under matrices only, part two. Part two, here the topic deals types of matrices. Types of matrices. Types of matrices. So let us first I list out uh, two or three depends on time availability. Slowly one one type. I am going to cover in less span of time how to remember easily. First one, a square matrix. Here, what, how to uh, give the definition in one line? If anybody asks you what is a square matrix, simple to answer any matrix which contains same number of rows and same number of columns. That matrix name is called square matrix. Just like a square will have length and width are same, same context we are going to read for a matrix. Here row number is equal to column number. Just uh, this thing you have to remember. Number of rows must be equal to number of columns. For example, if I want to show a square matrix, we write capital letter to name that square matrix. Here I wrote two. Two stands for now how many rows are there? How many columns are there? It contains two rows and two columns. So how to denote? Because I'm taking capital A to denote elements, I am going to use small alphabet A. Each row contains two elements. So two is row one, two is second row. Two rows, two columns. And how to name this? It is in first row, first row number, then column number, A11. First row, first column element. This one lying in first row, in second column. This element, second row, first column. This is in second row, second column. Enclose them in brackets. Right? It contains uh, two rows. 
two columns. So row number, column number. So you get idea. R one C one, R one C one, one one, R one C two, one two, R two C one, two one, R two C two, two two. If I want to give a three by three matrix, three rows and three columns, just extension, take three three elements in each row or each column. Same notation. This one, first row, first column. First row, second column. First row, third column. Next row two, second row, first column. Second row, second column. Second row, third column. Third row, third row, first column. Third row, second column. Third row, third column. Enclose them in square bracket. Row number, it is your wish to denote or you can omit. Three rows are there. Top to down, you have to count. Columns you can show top or bottom. C1, first column. C2, C3. Left side to right side, we are going to count columns. This is about uh, first type called square map. Number two, a rectangular matrix. Same rectangle, you have two sides which are not same. One is length, one is width. Longer side is called length, shorter side is called width. Here, row number is not equal to column number. In the first case, Row number equal to column number means number of rows equal to number of columns. Then it is called a square matrix. Here, if they are different, it is called a rectangular matrix. So, how to remember number of rows? First rows always. First row number not equal to the number of columns. For example, here I will take other letter B, capital B. If I show size here, no need to show size there. I write here 3 by 2. It is not 3 into 2, it is 3 by 2. 3 by 2. This matrix contains 3 rows and 2 columns. It is row number. It is column number. Both are different, that's why it comes under rectangle matrix. So how to denote them? Because I have taken B there. So, how many rows are there? Three rows are there. And two columns. So, three rows. B, B, B. First row number. Three Bs. How many columns are there? Two. B, B, B. First preference will be given to row number. R1, R2, R3. Right? Three Bs. Then come to row number. Two columns are there. Again, B, B, B. We get two columns here. How to represent them? It is first row, first column. First row, second column element. Second row, first column. Second row, second column. Third row, first column. Third row, second column. Enclose them in brackets. So, if you want to have clarity on your rows and columns, just you can note down here first row. Second row, third row. Always top to down, you have to view the row number. You can view column number here or bottom or bottom, you can view it. So, C1, first column, C2, second column. Like this, whatever the order is given to you, first give importance for row number. For example, if I take uh, C3 by 4. One more example. To get more effective example, C is a, square, C is a matrix. Your row number is three, column number is four. Both are different. It comes under a rectangular matrix. So how you are going to show? First, give importance for the row number. Your three rows are there. So write C three times three rows. Column. Column number four. Columns means. We already one first column is there. This we have to copy three more times. One, two, three, column two, column three, column four.
as usual, we can view the notations first row, first column, first row, second column, first row, third column, first row, fourth column, second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column, second row, fourth column, third row, first column, third row, second column, third row, third column, third row, fourth column. Then close them brackets. Sorry for not, not space, no space there. Can you pull to enter the brackets? Give proper spacing for each element and each row. Four rows, three columns. So you can denote row number R1, R2, R3. It is just for idea's sake. Three rows are there, four columns C1, C2, C3, C4. In, now I am going to break up this video. In the next video, I'll be covering next to two types in the same manner. How to remember easily and simple examples how to quote it. After covering that the fundamental uh, types of matrices, then we will work out operations with the help of these matrices, what we are going to operate, how we are going to operate. Arithmetic, arithmetic, how you are going to work out in this. In later videos, we are going to cover. So this is the right platform to learn the subject. Do share and subscribe this channel to your dear friends and their friends so that the learning never stops. Thank you.